Hi awesome people and welcome to my channel. First of all, thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. We are at a thousand subscribers. I do really appreciate your support. So today we are making chapatis and I'll probably talk through the video but uh, in most parts I'll put the captions so that you guys can read through. So first thing is water and then salt, sugar, oil, and then I have spoons there, I have the basin, and then I have the flour or unga in Sahil. Added six and a half serving spoon of flour. Three quarter teaspoon of salt. And then one tablespoon of sugar. And then now the next thing is just to mix. So you mix the uh, sugar, salt and flour. And then you go ahead and start uh, kneading. adding flour as you need until uh, you feel like it's not sticky anymore teaspoon vegetable oil continue kneading until well mixed Go ahead and cover with the kitchen towel and let it stay for 30 minutes. So we're going to do a bit more kneading so we're going to add some flour on the surface put the duff add a little bit on the duff and then continue kneading next step is to roll the duff so we're going to add a bit of flour on the surface then go ahead and start rolling so it's easier this way rather than doing it um, like one by one. So you roll the entire duff and then you're going to cut it. Mm -hmm. 
I then apply oil and of course I use my hand but if you have a pasta rib brush, the better for you. Next I'm going to cut into smaller pieces for rolling but there is actually an easier way of doing this. I wish I could have done the same here but I'll show you in probably another video that I'll do. go ahead and roll the pieces so there's always been a debate on whether the shape matters but again if you're making something that uh, you are probably I mean it's edible then there's no problem but I always try and make it as round as possible it's a learning process but I realize that the more you keep on uh, I mean cooking or making the chapatis the more you become an expert so that's the only way to do it Yep. So next I just heat the pan and start cooking. So we all have different ways of doing it. But I prefer uh, cooking like two chapatis at a time. And I do not like do the whole or the entire process. So I just do the first part where I just, um, what do I call it? I just cook them and then now when everything is done, that's when I start the process of putting the oil and then doing the final cooking. So we all have different ways of doing it, but I find this an easier way and a fast actually, it's quite fast. So in this case I was cooking while still rolling the chapatis by the side and it's okay I find it easy I don't know how you guys do it but while the two are cooking I'm busy rolling on the other side um, I think there are people who've, who kind of roll 
the entire batch and then now they start the cooking but this is how i do it i roll as i cook and it's faster for me so again i say we all have different ways of doing it so i was just cooking while on the other side i'm rolling the rest of the chapatis and it's easier for me that way yeah So the first part is done, all, I've done all the chapatis, now the next step is just now the part where we start adding the oil to do the final cooking and that is what is exactly happening here. So this is basically how I do my chapatis. There's no trick to it unless you've seen any trick, you can tell me on the comment section, but that is how I do my chapatis. This is the first part, I just make the, all the chapatis and then the final part where now it involves adding the oil and doing the final cooking and that is what I am currently doing. It's faster for me so yeah. this is an easier way because you don't get to be moving uh, like from touching the flour going to the oil flipping the chapatis and all that stuff so when it's all done at once you know you are doing the cooking and you're not going to start moving around and you're busy rolling the chapatis you're busy putting the flour you're busy put adding oil i think uh, that's a bit i don't know hectic <laughs> Yeah, so that's why I do my chapatis this way. Again, each and every one of us has their own way of doing it, but 
that is how your girl does it it for this video thank you guys for watching we are actually at 1000 subs i do really appreciate your support 
you guys have been grateful and i do really appreciate and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back the team is growing and we are glad and if you someone who always comes and of course watches the videos and goes back please consider clicking the subscribe button and join the team and also for it to be easier for you click the notification bell so that when your girl posts or uploads a video you are able to be notified thank you guys for watching and thank you thank you thank you thank you for the support we are at a thousand subs i do really appreciate thank you guys for watching and i do have a lovely one